<laughs> All right, so uh, how was boot camp? Uh, it was fun. I mean, a lot of adversity throughout the whole thing. Really challenging physically and mentally as well. Have you ever had to hold your legs up above the floor for that long at any one stretch of time? Uh, I remember Pee Wee football when I was really younger. That's what it reminded me of at that time. So, um, I mean, it was really challenging at those moments. Young guys, though, they think they got the message. Oh yeah, I think they did for sure. Uh, I think they have an idea of what it will take to make it through hard times throughout the season, and uh, you know they're, they're learning. But it's going to be fun for them throughout this whole journey. The the team chemistry, how how is that compared to the other teams you've been on at this stage as you get ready, really to get ready for the season? Um, it's helped that we went to Europe a lot. I think we were, were a step further than I would say a lot of a lot of other teams were. Although we had the most new players on the team at once, I think that um, we might have like a little head start as far as um, being together as one. Coach how, much, how much does it help just that continuity from, from Coach Point to still have him for another year? Oh, it's great. I mean, um, it's my first time having the same coach for two years, so. Um, you know, I, we have an idea, you know, me, Landy, and Thomas, and Trey, we have an idea of um, what he expects from us and his foundations. So uh, we can just carry that on from last year. Have you seen all the freshmen and new faces come along since you're up so far? Uh, yes, most definitely. Um, they've all made strides in different ways. I mean, we can look at someone like Kent, whose body has changed physically in tremendous ways, but um, maybe someone like Ice, who's mentally has been able to think the game further and faster than um, someone that I've seen at a young age. Can, can you look at him and see that it's going to be very easy for him to slide into a leadership role? Oh, yeah. He's the most vocal guy that um, we have amongst the younger guys. Uh, I mean, I think it will come naturally. Some guys, uh, though, may not understand to defer to the older guys on the team, but has that, that hasn't been an issue at all with him, has it? Uh, not not at all. I mean, I think we all have an open ear for one another. I mean, I'll listen to him just just as much as I expect him to uh, take criticism from me. What was the highlight for you of the European trip? Um, uh, I have to say probably on the gondola in um, Venice. That was pretty fun. So, I mean, I've never been out in the water like that. I mean, I don't, that's not comfortable for me, but <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Was yeah. that game against the Italian team kind of eye-opening as a first yeah, game there? Yeah, for sure. Cool. I mean, I'm glad we, we played them first. I mean, just to have an idea of what it would be like throughout the season and, and know that everybody's good. I mean, anywhere. You can't take anybody for granted. After that European trip, what are the expectations for this team now this season? Uh, just to keep moving forward. No steps back. I mean, we, we know that we're young and um, may, may need to mature a lot, but uh, as far as our length and, and guys across the board, I think we can compete with anybody. You guys have obviously, for a few weeks now, you haven't had Mike Weathers. How, how equipped is this team to handle kind of the adversity of that? Uh, I think that we're, we're, we've seen a lot of adversity. I mean, the core of the team has, and um, I know guys should um, be ready to be step up in those big time moments. I mean, when their name is called.